Hello everybody. Okay, so in this tutorial I'm going to go ahead and teach you some of the basic commands you can use in the command prompt in Windows. I will be using the Windows 7 machine, uh, but you will be just fine if you're using XP or Vista. Uh, you will learn how to use eight basic commands. <clears throat> and using these commands will allow you to switch between different directories and folders. Uh, create or delete folders, move and copy files, and delete files. Master these commands and you can move on to more advanced commands. Uh, the commands we are going to go through are the dir command, the cd command, the cd dot dot command, the md command, the rd command, the del command, and uh, the move and the copy commands okay so let's get started launch the command prompt by going to start all programs accessories uh, command prompt and I'm just going to go ahead and position this command prompt right here and extend the display a little bit perfect <clears throat> now for the purpose of this training a directory and a folder is the same thing so don't get confused if I use one or the other term directory or a folder they're both going to be the same thing for this training okay so let's start with the CD command actually let's start with the CD dot dot command which is this command right here I'm going to type this CD dot dot what this command does is it will return you to the previous directory or the folder uh, let's show you a couple examples so I type the command in if I press enter I go back one folder so now I'm in the users folder if I type in one more time and press enter it took me back one more folder so now I'm in the C folder and just to make this clear to you for the complete newbie if you go to your Windows Explorer which is right here uh, the C folder is the same thing that's under your main computer C so we're focused on C right here uh, also we're focused on C right here and you can tell by that letter C okay so the next command I'm going to show you guys is the DIR command which will give you a list of all the files and folders of the current folder that you are working with or that you are focused on so let's type dir <clears throat> and press enter and as you can see you get a list of all the folders and files in this folder so we have six directories and one file and you can see the list up here and again let me just pull up the explorer as you can see intel Perflux, program files, blah blah blah. The same thing you see right here. Intel, Perflux, program files, blah blah blah. Okay? So this is a pretty easy command. I'm going to move on to the next command, and the next command is the CD command. This command will allow you to change and switch between directories or folders. Let's show you a couple examples. So currently we're in the C. Uh, folder let's go back to the users folder up here okay all you have to type is CD and since users folder is in the C folder all you type is users press enter and now you're focused on the users let's go to the count folder which is my user profile by the way so CD count enter and now we are in users count uh, we can run a dir command right here to see what's in this uh, directory enter and you'll get a list of everything that is in the count folder again let me go to the explorer right here uh, we're in C right now users count and this is a list of all the folders okay and you see the same list right here okay 
so next I'm going to show you the MD command the MD command man creates a folder or a directory remember folder directory same thing so the MD command creates one of those let's just focus change our focus to the desktop that's right behind my command prompt so when I'm making folders I want I want you to see them popping up in real time so let's do CD and desktop and we know desktop is right there because we see it right here see I ran the dir command in the in the count folder and it showed me that there was a desktop in there so CD desktop now we're looking at the desktop folder so let's create a directory MD uh, test folder press enter and as you can see right behind the screen uh, behind the command prompt on the desktop a new test folder was created this is a very easy command MD make directory the next easy command is RD and that's remove directory so if you if you want to delete the test folder you just type in RD test folder and press enter and see it disappear in the background and now I will show you the three final commands in one go we will use the copy command the move command and the del command del uh, to manipulate a file a text file that I'm about to create and put on the desktop right behind you so you can see it uh, what we will do is we will create a copy of this text file then we will delete the copy we just created and then we will move the uh, text file into a folder so that's gonna go over the copy the move and the delete commands all at once so let's get started let me start by putting a little test file on the desktop and it's gonna be a text file uh, test file enter okay put it up here perfect and then I'm going to recreate a test folder so we can move the file into the test folder and bring it back out so MD is the make directory test folder there it is okay so the next step what I'm going to do is I want to copy the test file and put it in the test folder so we're going to be using the copy command and because I'm already focused on the desktop all I have to type is test file.txt that is the extension of a text file and then space I'm going to type in the destination of this uh, file that I want to copy so the destination is test folder okay so look copy command the file you want to copy and the destination you want to copy that I'm going to press enter and it says as you can see right here one file copied let's use the command prompt to go into the test folder CD test folder and run the dir command to get the list of what's in that folder and you will see that there's one file in that folder and the name of that file is test file.txt I'm just going to run this right here this window right here and you'll see it right there it was copied over now I am focused on the test folder let's go back to the uh, desktop CD dot dot takes me back one directory or folder and let's delete the test file that's on the desktop so because we're already focused on the desktop we type in the del command which is the delete command space and you put the name of the file that you want to delete test file dot txt press enter and the file disappeared it's gone so that was a delete test file next I'm going to show you the move command so as you can see I cleared up the screen uh, just because there was so much cluster but everything is the same here's the test folder the test file is in it what we want to do is we want to use the move command to move the test file back onto the desktop so let's change our focus to the desktop 
we can do this directly by using cd command and specifying the complete path so c uh, slash users slash count slash desktop enter and as you can see our focus just switched to the desktop and if I do a dir command you will see uh, the test folder right here the right here okay so let's go into the test folder cd test folder and verify that the file is in fact still in there and let's see it is testfile.txt so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the test file .txt to C users count desktop enter okay the the system cannot find the file specified because we made a typo instead of typing test file we put tet file so t let's just go back put the s here press enter one file has moved it's back on the desktop if you go into the test folder there's nothing here so let's just one more time move this from the desktop back into the test folder but let's go back all the way to the C folder and do it from here remotely okay so let's type in move now we need to specify the destination file but because destination file is not in the C drive but it's on the desktop we have to uh, type in the complete path C dash users dash count uh, not dash I'm sorry slash uh, desktop slash test file dot txt so this is the format this is the syntax of the move command you type in move you you specify the destination file if there's a path you specify the path so it's right here this whole thing and then we're going to specify the destination where it's going into so C users count desktop uh, test folder that's where we want to send this file to okay so move the file we're moving to the destination press enter one file moved as you can see in the background the test file disappeared if you click this it's right in here okay so that brings us to the end of this tutorial if you have any questions, if you have any comments you want to make, if you have any concerns you want to bring up, put it down in the um, comments section or send me a message. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a good day.